Have you ever experienced the following? You're free for the whole week and then the next week there will be tests. So you have the whole week to study. And you've already cancelled out every plan that you make that may will distract you from doing so. Which means you have no excuse to not study at all. One week with no interruptions, just study. So logically, you should be able to accomplish what you've intended to do, right? Well, the truth is, surely you'll study, but only for a little while. Ironically, you'll spend more time sleeping and watching YouTube as you try to study more. The more you want to spend your time on studying, the less time you will actually get to study. This is what we call the irony of time. And despite the word irony, it has actually quite a reasonable reason. As much focus that we want to have, to be able to do only one thing. In reality, there are no such things. As an individual, you have many responsibilities. You must spend time with your family. You must help out your friends. You must fulfill your jobs. You must complete your assignments. You must even spare some time for leisure. You must. You need to allocate your time fairly to do all of these things. If you don't do so, you will be lacking responsibilities. And this will ultimately halt your own self to function. Yes, humans are proven to be not that great in multitasking. But that doesn't mean humans are meant to do only one thing all the time. Like I've said before, we have so many things to do as responsible human beings. But let's say we're able to get rid of those things and are actually able to focus only on one thing that we want to do. Just one thing. When you think about it, we should be happy and we should be able to accomplish that one thing. But on second thought, I don't think so. The diversity of our responsibilities is the one that prevents us from being too overwhelmed from doing just one type of thing. Let me give you an example. Imagine school students. School students are expected and forced to study all the time, expecting that the more time they take to learn, the more excellent they would be. This will continue until they have finished their studies. Formulations that will take at least 11 years of their lives. Do you really think that logic could work? They're not just students, they're humans, they're friends to someone, they are daughters and sons to someone. Unfortunately, when they go to school, they will spend most of their time sitting in one place and cramming all sorts of information into their head all at once. When they step up from that school, they are reminded to study. When it's school holiday, they are given lots and lots of homework to do until they barely have enough time to fulfill their other needs, such as serving with their family, bonding with their friends, and even playing. Yes, as a student, studying is a priority. Studying is an important part of a student's life. If you're working, yes, your career is a huge part of your life, but it's just one part of your life. What about the other parts? Surely there are parts and responsibilities in your life that are more important than others. But you shouldn't put the others away. Allocate your time wisely and fairly and improvise your strategy effectively to produce the best outcomes possible.